Is it dangerous to wear a mask while you exercise? Hey guys, it's Dr. Z. A lot of my patients have asked me if I thought exercising with a mask on is dangerous or not. Now, I haven't seen any studies on it, and my answer is I don't know. So, I'm going to be my own experiment today. N is one. I'm the only one in the study. I'm going to put on a surgical mask and measure my oxygen saturation just using a basic standard pulse oximeter. You can get these anywhere online. So I'm going to measure my oxygen at the beginning of the exercise, the training session, in the middle, and the end. I'm going to use, I'm going to be training with weights, and then ultimately end, at the end, I'm going to jump on a treadmill and do interval training on that. So I'm going to measure my oxygen while I'm exercising, wearing a mask. Let's see what happens. Hey guys, my oxygen saturation, if you can see that, is running uh, about 98%, which is pretty good. So I'm going to start working out and then we're going to measure it at the middle and the end. Let's see what happens to my oxygen. So here we are, I'm about 27, 27 minutes into it. So I'm gonna start doing some cardio now. Let's see what happens. So now I'm just gonna start with a warm up session for a minute or two at a slow to moderate pace here. to eight, and pick up my speed to eight for about 30 seconds. For another minute, minute and a half, at a speed of 3.5. And then I'll repeat. So, Right now I'm at 95%, it's dropped a little bit. After a few sprints, let's keep going. Let's see what it looks like. Let's do another. Guys, it dropped down to 92, 93%. I'm midway, midway in the cardio. So my heart rate's about 165. You can see that 93, 165. So let me do another few sessions and see what happens to it. Okay.
down again. Got it. 90%. Let's run about 90%. That's going up, 91, 92, 93, wow, 94%. I thought it was gonna kick. It jumped down to 87, and then it got me a little weird feeling, so I stepped off quick. It settled back up to 91. Now I'm back up to 96%. Let's see, so that was about 40 minutes, maybe 43 minutes. Now I'm back up to 97, 149 beats per minute. My heart rate's beating pretty fast. And I'm sure it's fast like that because when there's no oxygen, your respiratory demand goes up. The need for hemoglobin goes up. So my heart rate goes up. So. This is a wrap up after 40 by 45 minutes, 40, 45 minutes working out with a mask on. Let me just wipe my head and discuss what I think. Well, <clears throat> I could tell you this, exercising with high intensity, and that could be any form of exercise, weights, cardio, whatever it is. Those intense moments where you sprint, man, I felt it in my lungs, it was burning. It was hard to really capture it as I was running hard, trying to get my, the oxygen in between the sets. However, as I said before, my oxygen actually got down to 87, 88%, 91%. And as soon as I slowed down and tugged the mask down a little bit and I was able to breathe better, my oxygen level started to rise, as you saw from 91, 92, 93, 94, back up to 96, which is pretty quick, and that's a good thing. But I gotta say, I get the concept of wearing a mask so you're not, you know, spitting all over people and snotting all over people. And I understand that it could help prevent the spread of the coronavirus because of droplets. However, I think you got to be safe if you're going to go out and exercise, put your mask on in your car, roll up the windows, put the mask on, keep the windows rolled up and or exercise with a mask on, especially when it's hot, really hot. It's hot as hell out there and humid. And <clears throat> expect not to not feel good. So in my opinion, based on what I just proved on myself, wearing a face mask while you work out is not a healthy thing. In fact, I think it's dangerous. And you don't know if you have a comorbid condition or maybe you do. Maybe you are a little overweight or over fat with obesity and trying to lose weight at this point. Maybe you've, you've had the COVID 25 where you've put on a lot of weight during the last four or five months because you've been stuck inside eating crappy food and not exercising. So all I can tell you is, as a doctor, I wouldn't recommend to any of my patients to wear a mask during exercise. Again, it dropped down as low as 87, 88%, and I was feeling like crap. So I don't suggest you talk to your doctor. I'm giving you my N is one is the result. N is one is a research, I'm the result. So on me, I'll never wear, again, a face mask during exercising especially when I'm doing high intensity interval training. If you're going in and out of the car, you're going to the hardware store, I get it, that's fine. But when you start to, your body needs more oxygen and there's a greater demand for oxygen, I think it's a detriment. Some of the comorbidities people deal with are obesity, overweight, diabetes, cardiovascular problems, autoimmune issues, hypertension, asthma, breathing disorders, pulmonary fibrosis, scar tissue. There's a million things that can create a hazard when your oxygen levels drop. Now, mind you, the research shows people die from COVID-19 because of acute respiratory distress syndrome, which is really hypoxia, where oxygen gets so low that you get put on a ventilator. Oftentimes, the ventilator damages the tissues because there's so much inflammation there anyway. A lot of people who are genetically predisposed to hyperinflammation or um, the cytokine storm, which is a release of these inflammatory compounds called cytokines, those are what cause damage. So hypoxia or reducing your oxygen is not a safe thing to do. So again, I hope this was helpful. Again, if you wanna go talk to your doctor about it, let him throw on a mask or her throw on a mask 
and get them on a treadmill exercise for 45 minutes and then let them prove to you otherwise that wearing an exercise mask is safe or unsafe. I'm saying it's unsafe to wear a mask during exercise. I hope that was helpful, guys. Please be safe. Use your judgment. We'll see you in the next video.